Now we're going to talk about the chip pass, okay? When would you use a chip pass in the game, Cam? When you're trying to go over a defender or a player. Okay, excellent. All right, well, why wouldn't you use a lofted pass? Why would you use a chip pass instead of a lofted pass? A lofted pass, you can get over a player the same thing. Why use a chip? Does it Hold on a second. Think about a golf player. When does a golf player use a chipper? Uh, when when you let Cam answer. Out. What? When he's further out, but too far for too close for a wood. Okay. Anybody else? Why is it when he's using a chipper? When he's doing Hey, use a chipper when there's a limited amount of space you want the ball to drop in. Now if I kick this ball hard and use a lofted pass, yeah. it would hit the ground with a forward spin and what would happen, it would roll out of play, right? Yeah. It rolls away from you. With a chip pass, just roll that ball to me. With a chip pass, a little bit, a bit harder than that, Steve. Watch it when it hits the ground. When a chip pass, watch it, leave it. What did it do? It just stopped. So it might be a situation, Cam, where there's a very little room behind a defender and I chip the ball over the defender. The other thing is too, with a lofted pass, but hey, with a lofted pass, it's gonna gradually increase heat, increase, increase height. But with a chip pass too, same Steve's to me, son. A chip pass, oh, give me a faster pass, son. A chip pass, bang, can get a lot of height. Give me one more, give me a good one, son. Not that I'm blaming you for that, but go over there. Pass it fast to me. With a chip pass, look at it's gonna get, bam, a lot of height over a short period of, di of a distance, understand? So the secret to the chip pass is a stabbing motion down on the ground, getting very little contact on the middle of the ball. You wanna get as much contact as you can on the underside of the ball, watch carefully. Second thing is, you don't wanna be leaning backwards. You wanna to step towards the ball, your head comes over the ball, and as that ball's rolling to you, watch my foot, everybody do this where you're standing. You bring the toe down, and you get your foot flat with the ground, and you get your toe right underneath, and you want to only make contact with where, where the ball is resting on the ground. You don't want to make contact up here. Okay, so Steve, okay, pass the ball to you. I want you to step from the side a little bit, and you're going to just stab down and let that ball pop up. Ready? Off you go. Yeah. Good, good. More of a backspin. Guys, listen up. The more aggressive you are going down, the more you do this, boom. The more vicious you stab down, that ball's gonna fly backwards. The slower that is, and the more timid it is, you're not gonna get the backspin. Let's watch Steven one more time. Ready, Steven? Really snap down, okay? Ready? Yeah, have you got the snap? Oh my. Oh. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Got too much contact on it. So listen, this is what I want you to do. Watch carefully, come here. Steve, stand at the mannequin. Sam, go here. You two lads go behind okay. Him. Just play the ball to him. Can you say chip, not a cross? Perfect. All right, a little bit better accuracy. Right, Cam. Give it here. He's going to set you up. Guys, the easiest ball to learn when you're chipping is a, give me the ball, is a ball that's rolling to you. That's the easiest one. Okay, now. The hard thing to do is chip the ball at standing still. You've got to be good at chipping the ball to be able to get a backspin on a static ball. But we'll start with a rolling ball first. Ready? Don't approach the ball straight. So when you serve it, serve it to his right foot. There you go. Down on it. Beautiful. Love it. But now it's got to be accurate to him. Okay? You're trying to find that guy. Roll it in. Yeah. Not too hard. Hey. Hey. Doesn't get better than that. Absolutely brilliant. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Impressed, well done. Let's go. Can you chip the ball in a... You see? Love it, love it. Well done, Cam.
top. Sand not so fast on the pass. So listen. So in a game, there's a striker coming in. He lays the ball for you. You clip it over the top because there might not be a lot of room behind him. You might be near the end of the field. And you play that first time, that chip over there, he's going to be able to peel off and it's not going to run out of play. Mm -hmm. So that's when you would use that. All okay? Right. Good job. Awesome. Yeah. Why is this so easy for me? Hey, that's great.